Hey, the Spine Craw is probably one of my favorite soft plastics of all time. With the tight claw action and a slightly longer body style, that's what makes this bait so versatile. With the addition of six new custom colors, you now have options for every water condition, from super clear to dirty. Now, here's three ways that I like to fish the Spine Craw. I have to tell you, one of my all-time favorite ways to fish the Spine Craw is the Carolina Rig. As effective as it is for largemouth, it's incredibly deadly on smallmouths and spotted bass. Now, I wanna show you a trick to perfectly rig this on your Carolina rig so the bait stays parallel to the bottom and flows and undulates nicely. The first thing I'm gonna do, if you notice on the spine crawl and you look at the back, it has a spine that runs straight down the center of the back. If you turn it around and look at the belly, you're gonna see segment sections in the belly. So I'll take my hook and I'll put it through the nose of the bait and I'll pop the hook through the first point of the first segment. I'll bring it up the hook, I'll spin it around, get it like that so it's, you're not hooked up yet. Then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna see where the hook comes in the soft plastic. I'm gonna push it through right where the hook comes in. Now the beauty part about the spine on the back is if you come out and you're perfectly in line with the ridge on the back, the bait is perfectly straight and perfect for the Carolina rig. Now it'll do exactly what you want it to do, and that's just hover and float just above the bottom. Some of my favorite colors to Carolina rig are Bama Magic, an oldie, Green Pumpkin Blue, another oldie, but now the new exclusive custom colors. I like GB Haze for cleaner water. Then I'll go to Mud Fleck, Really, mud fleck will work in any water condition. And a sleeper is pumpkin groove. That color is a small mouth smasher. I love to flip the spine craw. It goes through cover effortlessly. Now here's a little trick. I'll use the lightest slip sinker I can and still penetrate the cover. This gives me a slow fall and the claws move like crazy and it really elicits strikes. Now another thing I do is I put a small glass rattle in it. Every time I'm flipping, I put that small glass rattle in it because it mimics the clicking sound of a crayfish perfectly. Now, let me show you how and where to put this rattle. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the bait over on its belly side. I'm gonna look at the segment. So I got the first segment and the second segment. The rattle is gonna go right in the center of the second segment and I'm gonna push it perfectly straight right up the center of this bait. So it's nice and straight, center of the second segment. Now here's why that's important, okay? Perfectly straight, center of the second segment. The reason being is now, when I'm gonna put my hook in there, the hook goes in the bait nose first, and I'm gonna pull the hook through at the end of the first segment. So now the rattle is not getting in the way of my keeper system on the hook. Here's the other reason. When I rig it and Texpose it, or Texas rig it, it doesn't matter, the rattle is not in the way of the hook. So you have great hookup percentages and the rattle is not in the way. It's literally right behind the R bend in the hook, but way in front of the hook point. Gives you great hooking percentage. Now, crazy enough, color selections for flipping. This is even easier. I love all of them, and here's why. Just remember, dirtier the water, the darker colors you use. The cleaner the water, the clearer, more translucent colors you use. For my third choice, I was kind of torn between a shaky head or a jig trailer, but really, it is my number one go-to jig trailer. It just has the perfect profile, and because of the slightly longer body, it, I can make a big jig or a small jig out of it. Let's talk about colors. In my world, this is pretty simple because what I'll do is I'll match the color of the spine cry to the color of the jig skirt, or if I wanna have something that stands out a little bit more, I'll use a contrasting color. For example, a dark color with a lighter jig skirt. 
the contrast will stand out better on dark bottoms or stained water. Now that I've showed you some of my favorite techniques and some of my favorite colors, you could go check out the new custom colors at LureNet.com.